Hey, what's up guys, Fried Egg here, and this is gonna be another video on the Google Chromecast. I've been having a lot of people ask me about the Chrome browser, which until some further research, I didn't really understand fully what it was. I thought it was the Chrome browser for your cell phone, but it turns out it's also, it's actually the Chrome browser for your PC or your laptop. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get the Chrome browser going and I'll show you how it works. So first we're, gonna, we're going to install it on my, my PC here where I can record so you can easy, see exactly how to install it. So there's just a, that's just a picture of the Chromecast. There's multiple pictures, but, but the site you go to is Google, actually there it is in my history, google.com slash Chromecast slash setup. That's where we go. This is the same site you visit on your, um, on your phone uh, we're going to download the app, same thing as we did on the phone, but maybe on the computer. Uh, here's the app. The app should automatically also install the, um, the, the Chrome extension. If it doesn't, it'll, it'll ask us to. It's hooking up to my network. Okay, it doesn't automatically install the extension. I'm going to click download the extension and add the extension. You're going to see it pop up up here by my, by my ad blocker. All right. So we now have it. Gives you a little video talking now that about you it. Shut up. Okay. So a couple things to know about this. Uh, you can come into this, and um, I just did that for for kicks. And then this is to give you the best possible quality for um, for streaming to your to your TV. So obviously we want we want it, we want it extreme around y'all. Uh, so we get the best picture and. Besides that, to to do it, all you do is um, you click on whatever you want to share your tab. You just come up here and click this, and you click that right here, Chromecast Fried Egg, and it's going to start streaming it to my TV. Now, to show this, I'm going to actually switch to my camera, to my laptop in front of the TV so you guys can see this happening in live time instead of like some finicky you know, video and video stuff. So I'll be right back with the, uh, the camera in front of the TV. All right, here we are at my laptop in front of the, the TV. So you can see this happening in real time. And to share your, share, share your screen or share your tab, you go up here to your, to your Google Cast extension and you click it. And to just share a tab, you, the, the default function is you just click, um, click on your, your, your uh, Chrome Share, which mine is Chrome Share Fried Egg. I click on it, and it's going to share this tab, which is me just looking at some other tabs. All right. Now, if I wanted to share the whole screen, I could do that too. To stop, you can either close the tab or come here and click on Stop Sharing. Now, to share the screen, um, you have to go, if you can see this, in the, I click on right here in the extension window. Now instead of clicking on the, my Chrome share, I'm going to click this little drop down and it has um, share your screen and it has in parentheses experimental. So I can click that and it's going to share the entire screen. And it's asking me, do you want to do that because it's you know, experimental, but yes, we will do it. So it should be sharing the entire screen now. And as you can see, you, can, you can't see my mouse, but uh, I just changed tabs to the Xfinity tab. And once again, I want to change it to the HBO Go tab. Um, there's a freeze frame of something I was checking out. But one of the best things about this player is as a Comcast customer, uh, there is no real way for me to stream Comcast content or HBO Go to my TV without plugging my laptop directly up to it. So now with this Chromecast, I'm going to be able to just, because my computer in my office is always on, I can just open up HBO Go in the office, like right here, and go up to my, my Chromecast and start sharing the tab. And I can watch my HBO Go in HD on my television in my living room. And I can also, you know, with, through the, 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 com, the uh, Chromecast app, you can um, keep on queuing up more and more things to watch. So, which is really cool. But this is just a basic overview of the, 
of the, 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 the Chrome app. Uh, this is how it looks. Um, there's not really too much to see here. Uh, the stop casting, I just clicked the stop button for the, the shared screen experience. And yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. There's not really too much to it. Uh, anywhere you can go on Google Chrome, just go up here. You know, you can go, <laughs> let's go to Newegg. You can buy some stuff. Come up here and go to your Chrome share. Click on your, click on your Chrome share, share the tab and start sharing the tab. And we can buy stuff on Newegg on our television at home. And I still can't see the mouse. So it's kind of weird, but anyways, guys, this was just a brief overview, overview so you guys could see the uh, Chromecast Google Chrome app on your, for your PC or for your laptop. Uh, hopefully they're going to be adding something like this for the phones, uh, the cell phones and the tablets for the, uh, you know, Google Chrome app on those devices. Um, because right now on the mobile devices, all you have are YouTube, <laughs> Netflix, and uh, uh, Google, Google Play or something it's called, like Google's app for streaming movies and stuff that you have to pay for. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. See you later.